the triangle holds some of the world's deepest waters. With the Gulf of Alaska reaching down to depths of an incredible 26,000 feet. Could this be a perfect hiding place for a secret underwater alien base? There's definitely underwater UFO activity that's been reported over the last four decades. These UFOs have been tracked underwater and stayed underwater for a long time, evaded the Navy, and they go so deep that we don't know where they're going. I am very convinced that there's some kind of base underwater. UFO researcher Johnny Enoch has been looking at the evidence. According to my sources, there are extraterrestrial bases under the water off the coast of Alaska. Alaska's the perfect place for extraterrestrials to set up underwater bases. I mean, you have 33,000 miles of untapped coast and over 3 million lakes. I mean, where better a place to set up shop? But it seems there is compelling evidence of UFOs using the oceans of the Alaska Triangle. And it comes directly from US servicemen themselves. In 1969, Dan Willis was serving in naval communications when he reported a UFO incident that would change his life. A recent change in military law means he can now speak publicly about it without fear of jail. I was a certified high-speed code operator, you know, doo -doo -doo -doo, you know, type of thing. I worked at the uh, code room, the Naval Communication Station in San Francisco. I had a uh, top secret extra sensitive material handling security clearance. I received a secret priority message from a ship that was off the coast of Alaska, coming in through a Morse code channel. The crew were reportedly startled by what they just witnessed off the port side of their ship. The crew reported a brightly glowing reddish-orange elliptical object approximately 70 feet in diameter that emerged out of the ocean and then shot straight up into space. The radar operator tracked the blips going in excess of 7,000 miles per hour. I'm reading the message as I'm decoding it from Morse code. It was a um, highly unusual message. I never experienced anything like that. So it all stuck, it burned like an image in the back of my head, this message. Making a UFO sighting public was a crime for any US serviceman under the 1953 Espionage Act. But Dan was in a dilemma about keeping such an important event under wraps. I have to admit, for a second, I was thinking of taking this secret message to make a copy of it on the Xerox machine, but I knew if I did, I'd be facing 10 years in prison, so I had a second thought about doing that. So Dan took the top secret message to his superiors, who then passed it on to the highest ranks of the US Navy. Dan came to one conclusion about this reported UFO sighting. This is 1969, so, you know, I couldn't imagine that anybody on Earth had this type of technology and I imagined it to be extraterrestrial. It was something that was in an official Navy secret report going to the Chief of Naval Operations. This was not part of my uh, reality. this startling UFO report was never to see the light of day. But the incident continued to trouble Dan. People don't question things until they have a, an actual experience themselves. And since that experience, over the decades, it left a burning question in my mind, what is this? After Dan's life-changing experience, he decided to hunt for evidence 
of other UFO sightings across Alaska's oceans. He was startled by what he found. I've been researching through, and there's a number of reports I find of uh, disks coming out of the ocean near Alaska. Uh, this particular report happened all the way back in the summer of 1945. An Army transporter ship, U.S. Delaroff, was heading past Adak, one of the Aleutian Islands, in the southwest corner of Alaska. Suddenly, one of the crew was said to have spotted ripples in the water just a mile from their vessel. In this report from one of the crew members, uh, he stated that he turned and saw a large round object which just emerged from the sea. They witnessed a UFO come up out of the water that was 150 to 200 feet wide and it started circling the boat and making everyone feel rather uneasy. 1945, that could be quite startling to see a 150, 250 foot uh, circular object come out of the ocean, totally quiet. It was on its own propulsion system, wasn't affected by the wind, the sailors said. This mysterious unidentified flying object was said to be in range of the ship's guns. But the crew held their fire for fear of provoking an attack. It circled around the ship two or three times until it took off, leaving everyone mesmerized. The crew kept watch as U.S. Delaroff continued on its voyage to Seattle. But there were no further reported sightings of the UFO. All 14 members of the crew witnessed this, including the radio man, and they uh, signed a summary and reported this uh, when they got back to shore. Mysteriously, the top secret report compiled by the crew never saw the light of day. Dan believes he's identified a pattern. They're all strikingly similar. All the reports that I've researched through People see things coming up under the ocean, and they shoot off at tremendous speeds. Could these UFO encounters be proof of an underwater alien base in Alaska? If so, why would such an advanced life form be attracted to its waters?